pop and cooking o t a n o s h i o s u s h i a s a n Yeah! Hi, I'm Aaron Jones, and welcome to Weird But Fun, the first episode in a new series. And what am I gonna do today? I'm gonna make Tanoshi o Sushi Asan. Yes, I'm going to make candy sushi. Now, this product,、uh, Pop and Cooking, is very popular here in Japan. It's also popular outside, and I know a lot of people try to get this. Uh, import them from or export them from Japan or import them to, into their own country to do it. So, today, yes, I'm a 40 year old man, almost 40 years old, and I'm going to make candy sushi. So, let's go. Okay, everybody, let's have a look at what we're going to do here making sushi, candy sushi. Now, there's the front of the box, and、uh, of course, I was looking on the internet, lots of people buy this, they have to buy it imported into their country. But I'm in Japan, so I just walked down to the grocery store and bought it. It was about less than 300 yen, about $3 US. And you can see the front Tanoshi o Sushi Asan, so fun sushi shop. And on the back is all the instructions. And in Japanese, but I can read Japanese, so not a problem to check this out. So, anyways, let's have a look what's inside the box. Opens up right over here. Opens up right over here. Oh, and inside is a package like this with all the contents. And let's have a look up inside here. And pull this open. And here is all the packages.、Uh, this is the Gohan、uh, for the rice, the sushi rice. What is this one? Oh, this is for the、uh, ikora, the、uh, eggs. And this is the soy sauce, the shoyu package. And this is for the, also for the fish eggs,、uh, the ikora. The candy for making the nori, the seaweed that goes around. Sushi, one of the sushis, and my g o r o This is the candy package for the tuna. This is for、uh, tamago for the egg, and we have the little squeezer eyedropper thing and a little scoop to start making things. So let's get ready to start making. Okay, we're ready to start making, and the first thing that the instructions here m e n t i o n s is to make. The rice, the sushi rice. Now, actually, when you have real sushi, the sushi is the rice, vinegar rice. So, what you're going to do, number one, there's a number one written inside this little package, and you can see、uh, there's the forms, and I'll talk about each one as we go. But number one is for the rice, and so I'm going to put water in there up to the line level. Okay, maybe one more. That should do it. Okay, there we got the water and our package for the rice. Just get that down so none of it spills out. Open that right up over here and that goes into here. Okay, now that that's in there, take our little spoon, little scoop. And we have to mix it and chop it up so that it becomes rice. Chop, 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 chop. And hopefully we can. And the candy rice can be fun. Oh, it has an interesting candy smell now that I'm starting it. It's gonna be good. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm a grown man. Okay. Let's just keep doing the rice. I think maybe I didn't put enough water. A little more water in there. Okay. Let's see how that goes. There we go.
Okay. Now that we got the rice ready, let's move on to the next step. Okay, the next part is to make the egg. And the egg will go into this part. And if I put it up closely, you can see there's a shape of the egg that makes the texture of the egg, the tamago. First, it needs some water, just a little bit of water in each the little line here where, the, where you fill it up so that uh, you know exactly it's supposed to be right. Okay. Actually, this is a little water receptacle here. Okay, there. Now, going to get the package, the tamago package. This is the tamago package here. Just shake it out so I don't spill any. Open that up. Again, I'm not very good at opening these packages because I'm a grown man making sushi candy. And that goes, oh, look at that already. I can see the yellow. Pour that into there. And again, take the little spoon and it says to mix it up and then to flatten it out. It's gonna take a few minutes to, uh, to congeal. I guess it's like a gelatin. This is obviously gelatin. But to get it nice, nice and even egg. It's a little bit different with the camera here. Okay, there we go. So that is the egg step. Egg is now being prepared. The third step is to make the maguro, the tuna. And this is the little package for the maguro. And just like the egg, it's exactly the same. You pick up the water and you fill it on this side. And it's got the little parts here to fill up with water. Just. A little, uh, there we go. That's about right. Extra water, and here we go with the maguro. Let's open up this package. Oh, much better this time. And that goes into here. And then get our little spoon. And let's mix that up. And then once it's mixed up, gotta. Kind of, whoops, still messy, 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 this one. Kind of even things out. Let's get it nice and even. Even Steven. A little bit more, ah, this is a little more difficult. There we go. Okay, and that is the Magarol done. Okay, the next step is to make the seaweed, the nori that goes around one of the sushis. And it's this little package here of some kind of candy. And it comes out like that. And on here, I'll move it up so you can see better. There's a little guide, a little mold to put this to try to push it out, knead it out to the right size like this and of course I'm not going to be very good at this but uh, and this is fixed that up when we got it out the right size okay there and there to make the right size of the nori and that's it that makes the nori okay we're on to the fifth step and that is to make the ikora the salmon roll and got to fill up there's two sections here there's a and b and first we're going to fill a up with water the water goes into a and then we put water into b and a little bit more water there okay that's a and b completely filled up and then next is package A for the ikura, the salmon eggs. And open that package up. That goes into A. Okay, that's A. And then number, yeah, package not number, letter B. And package B. 
goes into here. B. Okay. And then, oops, get all of it in there. Give it a little stir. Give this one a little stir. And this is where it's going to be a little interesting. So now that they have put A and B together, we're going to make the salmon roll. And how is the salmon roll going to be made? By using the little dropper pick up from here as much as possible and then you drop one by one. Oh, look at that. Drop. Each drop becomes a salmon egg. This is more difficult than it looks from an uncoordinated clutch like me. I'm not getting very even. They're coming out. They're looking like salmon roe eggs. Actually, this is pretty, even though it's a little silly, it's pretty ingenious, if you ask me. A little bit more. I don't know how much we're gonna actually need. need. But anyways, I will eat all of this. And I'll stop there for now, and if we need more later, we'll make more later. Ingredients have been made, it's time to put everything together. And first we're going to start off with the egg. And first we need some rice. So we'll take some of the rice candy, and there's a little thing here that shows you how, how big to make it. There. I'm not going to be very good at this. And I'll take a little, take a little bit more. We'll add that to there. Let's, we'll see how this works. So we'll make the sushi rice. Do it like the real one. Make the shape. Okay, that's good enough. And then let's clean the spoon off here. The egg, and in the middle, cut it in the middle. And then take one of the eggs out. It pops out of the container like this. And goes on top. Oh, yeah, it looks like egg sushi. I'll put that over there. And make one more of those. And that one goes here. I'll do a little bit of rice. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, make it into a nice. There we go. That, that'll work. Then take out the next one. Oh, yeah, comes out just like that. Peel that off. It goes on top of there. And that is the tamago. The egg is done. Next is the maguro, which is done exactly the same way. Exactly the same. So you take some of the rice, about the right size. We're almost, we're almost done, this magical craziness. And there, and then cut the maguro in half. And out comes the maguro, the tuna. Yeah, not so pretty, but uh, I'll put that onto the tray. Oh, enough, this is exactly enough for the next Two pieces of sushi left. There is the salmon roll one, and then there is the chilashi sushi, which will be last. But here we go. The maguro. Last maguro piece. A little hard to take out because of the ridges that they use on the, the mold to make the shape of the tuna. A little bit difficult. And that is the egg and tuna finished. Okay, okay time to make the the uh, ikora sushi. Take out one the rice. That one goes over here. Take out the nori. And the nori goes around. 
like this to make the sushi very difficult this because it's just candy oh there we go we want to leave it open and now to get the oops turn that off there we're going to get some of the ikura the ikura goes on top like that a little bit here and a little bit there A little bit there. There we have the ikura sushi. And last but not least is the chilashi sushi. Then it's this is I guess is an optional one. There's a little bit left for it. So you take that and then any pieces of egg. I mean, Maguro, there's not much left. So, the chirashi sushi is not much left. This is Maguro Tamago Spoon Day. Or maybe you are supposed to leave one. I made it too, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about it. And this one, and then I'll just put some ikura. I guess you're supposed to only make one Maguro and one Tamago, and then. The rest goes on top of the chilashi sushi, but I will just do this. I made two of each because that's the kind of guy I am. That goes there really bad. You're supposed to, I guess, only make one maguro, one egg to make the chilashi. Oh, this is, this actually feels like real ikura. Yeah, that one's a failure right there. And then actually the last thing is to make the soy sauce and to make the soy sauce, then you put the water back into number one. It goes back into number one. And the, the soy sauce package, which I'll open up like this. And mix the soy sauce into the package like that. And it's starting to look like real soy sauce. And let's get ready for the finale. Okay, now we've got everything done. It's time to add a little soy sauce to each of them. A little soy sauce to the egg, to the egg, to the maguro, to the maguro, to the ikura, and to the failed the chiashi sushi. And there you have it. Poppin', poppin' cookin'. Sushi Asan, Tanoshi Sushi Asan, making your own fun sushi candy at home just because it's crazy. Let's see, what is what does it taste like? Let's have a Maguro. Mm, tastes like crazy candy. Anyway, that is how you make it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Weird But Fun. And look forward more to more episodes coming very soon. So subscribe over here and check out my other content. I have weekly vlogs as well as cool news about science and technology. And if you like magic, I have my Inspire Magic series. So subscribe to keep updated when a new episode comes out. And stay tuned for the next Weird But Fun episode coming soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.